Hello, my name is Robert Provenzano. I am a clinical nephrologist and an associate clinical professor of medicine at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. Welcome to this pro program titled Emergent Safety and Efficiency Data for the Treatment of Anemia. I will be presenting data on the Himalaya trial. This is a phase three randomized, open-labeled, active controlled study of the efficiency and safety of roxidustat in the treatment of anemia in incident dialysis patients. So let's talk just a little bit about uh, the clinical situation nephrologists uh, face when, when treating anemia. All kidney patients aren't created equal. Uh, we understand that CKD progresses and morbidity and mortality changes as renal function deteriorates. We know that when patients transition from CKD onto dialysis and are deemed incident or new dialysis patients, they have a very high mortality, as high as 200 times that of prevalent patients. Uh, we know then once those patients become prevalent patients, they more or less stabilize. And many nephrologists have said, oh, this is almost a survival advantage. You survive CKD, you survive incident uh, uh, timing, and then you become prevalent. So when the trials were designed to look at the treatment of anemia in all of these cohorts, we pulled the data on incident patients. And that's what I'd like to speak to you about today. So um, in general, uh, this is a fairly straightforward trial where patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive either roxidustat or uh, a active controlled, uh, in this case, uh, erythro erythropoietin, epitin alpha. The patients were then uh, enrolled and uh, stayed on the study for up to four years. Uh, the average time was about one and a half years and then were uh, an, an analyzed at end of treatment, early termination, or of course, end of study. Uh, it was a nicely balanced study. Uh, the Himalaya study made up about 68% uh, of all the incident patients. So it was a very good representation of the patients. As far as the outcomes, um, it, it was impressive. What we found is that um, Roxidustat indeed was effective uh, statistically um, in the US, uh, non inferior to uh, epitin alpha, uh, and was also deemed superior. In the European uh, subjects, it was a little bit different. Rather than a change in baseline of hemoglobin, yeah, we represented the percent change um, of hemoglobin from baseline. So uh, approximately 88.4% of patients with roxidustat responded, and this was not inferior to the control arm of epitin alpha. When we looked at this group as far as inflammation, uh, and again, as we know, many of these patients are inflamed, uh, we found also that uh, statistically significant improvements in hemoglobin response to roxidustat, whether the patients were inflamed or not inflamed, and uh, this held up whether the patients were iron replete or non-iron replete. So it looked very comfortable that uh, we were getting a nice response that roxidustat was indeed effective. <clears throat> we next pivoted over to look at safety. And as uh, we've learned in the past, uh, safety is a great concern, uh, not only in our patients since they are fragile and have high cardiovascular mortality as it is, but trials in anemia in the past, whether it's TREAT or CHOIR, have suggested safety signals, particularly as hemoglobins uh, get toward the high range. So we looked at MACE, which is um, the cardiovascular endpoints of MI, cardiovascular stroke, and MACE plus, which includes hospitalization for unstable angina or congestive heart failure, and then overall mortality. Anybody who was considered to have a MACE or MACE plus event was independently adjudicated by blinded experts so that there was no bias introduced during the analysis. So when the analysis was done, what we found is that those patients uh, in the Himalaya study, incident patients, 
had significantly lower MACE and MACE plus events and uh, trended toward uh, improvement with mortality, although this did not reach significance. So when you really stand back and take a look at, uh, at the Roxidustat, uh, this trial uh, comfortably showed that Roxidustat is effective in uh, increasing the hemoglobin in anemic incident patients. It did so uh, whether the patients were iron replete or not. It did so whether the patients were inflamed or not. And it did so without a safety signal and indeed sup uh, uh, superiority as far as MACE and MACE plus and a trend toward improved mortality. So as I look at this in the broadest sense, um, I sort of stand back and say, we, we really haven't had a opportunity to address anemia in this patient cohort for over 25 years. It will be a fascinating opportunity moving forward to take a deeper look at managing anemia with uh, small molecules such as HIFs. Thank you.